In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload some files. To start with, I'm going to open Finder, and then I'm going to select the files that I want to upload to Fluro. I'm going to drag them onto the screen, and then it's going to pop up with this Upload dialog box. Now here you can see that it's decided that this PSD is an asset, and these two PNGs are images. I can click Select Realms, and I can choose where I want to upload these to. I'm just going to upload them to the Central Church Realm. And I can also add tags in here, so I can either select tags that already exist, or I can add extra tags. I can also add tags individually to each of these, and I can rename them. Then I'm going to hit Upload, and you'll see here that it's started to upload those files. And if I want to, I can click in this grey area, and you'll now have the preloader bar up the top. And it'll tell me when those uploads are complete. I can click OK. And if I go over to content and go to files and assets, I would, can refresh here. Actually, that will be updated as images. There's our images there. So um, now what I want to do is I want to create a collection, like a Dropbox, where I can share these to certain people. So what I'm going to do is click the select button up here. I'm going to select both of these images. And then I get my options on the right hand side where I can either zip or download them, I can add them to an approval process or something other like this, I can change the status. But what I'm looking for is I want to add to a collection. So if I click add to a collection, here I can create a new name for this collection, I'll call it my Dropbox. And I can also choose a date that I want this to expire. So potentially um, at 5am uh, on Friday the 31st of July, I want this collection to basically cease to exist and I can choose a realm for this collection. I'm going to put it up in the central church realm. And I'm going to click Create. Now I have my Dropbox. I can tap the three dots on that and I can get the share link with a public share link that then makes those files available without a person having to log in so they can access them.